Situated along the northern cliffs of Lake Atitlan, Guatemala, you will find a unique hotel that is only accessible by boat. Travelers who are up for the challenge of reaching Casa del Mundo will be rewarded with out-of-this-world views of Vulcan San Pedro and Vulcan de Atitlan. The literal translation of Casa del Mundo means House of the World. And after spending several days with Casa del Mundo, I can tell you it certainly lives up to the name. Hey everybody, I'm Wes Murgard with WorkRemotelyLiveRemotely.com, and during today's video, I'm going to explain everything you should know when planning a visit to Casa del Mundo. Along the way, I'll also be sharing with you some highlights from our stay with footage I shot around the hotel. Visitors planning to visit Casa del Mundo will likely be traveling from either Antigua or Guatemala City. From either town, you're looking at roughly a three-hour shuttle drive to Panajachel, which serves as the arrival hub for travelers visiting the Lake Atitlan region. Panajachel is the most developed town here and is somewhere you'll definitely want to spend some time exploring. It's from Panajachel where you can take a water taxi or private boat out to Casa del Mundo. Water taxis are much cheaper and will stop at Casa del Mundo. Be mindful that locals will try getting you to take their more expensive private boats over the water taxis, so always ask what the boat destination is and what the price is before getting on. In general, the water taxis run after sunrise until just before sunset. If you need to arrive or depart Casa del Mundo from outside these times, you'll need to arrange for a private boat. Fortunately, the service level at Casa del Mundo is top notch. For our departure from the hotel, we needed to leave earlier than the water taxis would run. The hotel was able to arrange a private boat for us and ground transportation back to Guatemala City Airport, which made getting home a breeze. Now that we've discussed getting the Casa del Mundo, let's go over what you should expect at the hotel during your stay. Most importantly, I must highlight that getting around the grounds at Casa del Mundo will require a little bit of work. There's no other way to sugarcoat it. While the hotel cliffside location results in out of this world views, it also means that getting around the property will result in you having to climb a lot of stairs. Lake Atitlan sits at an elevation of about 5,125 feet, which is about 1,562 meters. This means that the air is thin for anyone coming from lower elevations. The elevation can make getting around a little bit more challenging than you'd normally expect. If the stairs don't deter you, then be prepared to enjoy the ultimate destination for relaxation, peace, and quiet. I really can't imagine a better place to get away, relax, and unplug from the hustle and bustle of modern day life. As you wander around the property, you'll find an endless number of hammocks and seating areas to relax and enjoy the views of Lake Atitlan. Casa del Mundo also offers easy Lake Atitlan swimming access. The perimeter of the lake is relatively steep in most areas and swimming isn't always ideal near the docks of the larger towns. At Casa del Mundo, there are steps which lead you directly down to a swimming area. It's generally recommended that you swim early in the morning when the waters are the calmest. As the lake heats and afternoon storms roll into the area, the water usually becomes choppy by afternoon. Also, if you're interested in kayaking, you can rent them directly from the hotel. Just be sure to reserve the kayaks in advance with the hotel so you don't miss out on the best time. Another amazing activity to enjoy at Casa del Mundo is the wood-fired balcony hot tub. It's perfect to do in the evening when the sun fades and things start to cool off around the lake. The hot tub has limited capacity and books well in advance, so be sure to inquire about it when booking your hotel stay. Now let's discuss a few other important things to know before visiting Casa del Mundo. If you're curious about Wi-Fi at the hotel, I'm sorry to report that during our stay here and elsewhere around the lake, internet speeds were on the slower end. Now switching gears to weather, in terms of seasonality, there isn't a bad time of year to visit Guatemala given its temperate climate. However, I would recommend visiting between November and April to avoid the rainiest months in Guatemala. Another important thing to know is that Casa del Mundo generally operates on cash, so be sure to bring plenty of quetzals. In a pinch, you can generally use a credit card, but expect to be assessed an additional fee. Another thing to know when visiting Lake Atitlan or other parts of Guatemala is that you generally should avoid drinking the tap water. But do not fear, as Casa del Mundo has plenty of safe water to drink available for you to keep in your room and to refill your water bottles with. While this video is focused on Casa del Mundo, Lake Atitlan is best enjoyed by experiencing different towns around the lake. We also stayed at Dreamboat Hostel in Panajachel during our trip, which allowed us to better understand what day-to-day -day life looks like around the lake. Keep in mind that Casa del Mundo is considered a higher-end hotel. The amenities here will be much different and nicer than what you'll find at most hotels around the lake. 
While those visiting from more developed parts of the world might think the price per night here is reasonable, it is still much, much more expensive than other options around Lake Atitlan. If you found this video guide helpful, be sure to check out the Casa del Mundo post on my blog. There's a link to that and other helpful Guatemala travel content in the video description below. Don't forget to subscribe and check out some of our other channel content while you're at it as well. Once again, I'm Wes Murgard with WorkRemotelyLiveRemotely.com and thanks for watching.